All right, for today's video, let's go ahead and get uh, XDX menu pulled up onto our Xbox 360 that's been RGH'd. And then we'll go through dash launch, get FSD, which is Freestyle Dash installed. Um, I know there's a lot of videos out there. I'm making this so that if anybody that buys my Xboxes uh, runs into any issues or anything like that or something goes wrong, they'll have um, a video of me explaining it on exactly what to do verbatim. That way I know that they're following all the proper steps. And I don't have to watch a hundred videos of them trying to figure it out from somebody else that may be providing not as good of information or anything of the sort. So the first thing you're going to want to do, get your flash drive. Make sure it is formatted to FAT32, 16 kilobytes allocation size. Rename it to something you're going to remember. Quick format and then press start. I'm not going to do that. I already have mine set up. I have everything transferred over. That way the video goes a little bit quicker. So what you're going to want to do after that is done, get a copy of Freestyle Dash, get a copy of Dash Launch, get your, oh come on, get your code 9999 folder, which is going to be your XEX menu, get those onto your flash drive. The next thing you're going to want to do, we're actually going to uh, create a folder called Content, create another folder with 16 zeros in it. Drop your code 999 folder into the folder with 16 zeros. Once that is done, disregard the other folder here. I have a bunch of other stuff on here um, for future videos. And to transfer content back and forth between my laptop and this desktop here as I do not take this desktop online. So now that that's done, go ahead, right click on your storage device, eject it safely remove your USB drive and then plug it in to port number two on your Xbox 360 which if you have it standing up and down vertically it'll be the very right USB port if you have it laying horizontally which most people do it'll be the top port so now that that's done let me pull up this here so I don't have to switch back and forth between my TV screen and my computer screen this just kind of makes it a little bit easier terrible for uh, recording gameplay but for recording menu things we're going to be doing here it is completely fine go to storage make sure your USB drive is detected if it is detected you should have 204 megabytes in your demos folder we're going to come back over here to games go to my games there is XCX menu 1.2 that is our demo as you can see it has half the controller down there so let's go ahead and click into that I'm doing this on a uh, 60 gigabyte hard drive as I've already cloned all of my drives. I already made the, uh, oh come on, I've already made these videos once, but unfortunately the audio was crap, so I went out and bought one of these snowball mics, which actually seems to be working okay. So now that we are here, press the right bumper, you'll go over to your USB, uh, your USB drive. And then we're going to press Y right here. We're going to copy that content folder. Press X, go to HDD1. And then we're just going to come down over the text file so we don't try to paste it into a subfolder. And paste. Let it overwrite. I'm not sure what else was on here. I should have formatted this drive first, but I didn't because it's a 60 gigabyte and I'll be taking it out anyway and swapping it with a... 500 or one terabyte so now that that is done press x again go back to usb zero we're going to copy dash or uh, freestyle dash hdd1 paste Press X again, go back to your USB drive. We will go ahead and we'll just transfer over dash launch as well. So copy. Come down here, paste. All right, so now we have these on the hard drive. Let's go ahead, open up dash launch, go into installer, 
and go to your default XCX and let's get it launched. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do, hold on a sec, I got a call coming in for work. I'll call you back. Go into network, make sure live blocks enabled. Um, if you plan on taking it online, let's just, you know, keep it enabled for now until you're all set up and have your stealth server ready. I'm not going to be doing that in this video. I really don't care to go online. So let's go up to paths. So your dump file, you can set that anywhere you want. That is going to be if your console crashes or has anything wrong with it, it is going to dump that error log. So if you want to set that up, go for it. Default is what we want. So let's go into HDD, freestyle dash, default XEX, press A. You can go through and you can set button A. So if you want to boot something else up while pressing A when the console initially starts, you can do that. Um, we're not going to do that right now. So we're going to go ahead and press the right bumper. We're going to come down to the hard drive and we're going to press X. Settings saved to HDD slash launch INI. That is going to be how we initially get Freestyle Dash. So we can go ahead and press B, it'll exit out. And now it should boot us into Freestyle Dash. So here we are, Freestyle Dash has been loaded. We're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pull the USB drive really quick. And then we're gonna turn the console off and just verify that it's gonna boot directly in there, make sure that we set it up correctly. If it does not boot, you either press the B button too early, you did not press the right bumper to go in and save it to your hard drive. Um, so go back and just you know follow the video verbatim exactly as I did, and you shouldn't have any issues, it should boot right in. So there it is, it's booting directly into Freestyle Dash 3, which is exactly what we wanted. So that is how to set up XEX menu, get it onto your console, go into dash launch, get that set up. Um, I'm not sure what the next video will be, but we'll get XEX menu installed as well as a couple other things over here in the homebrew section. Um, I know there's a lot of videos that I've been wanting to do, but with work, I have not been able to. And now that we are extremely slow because it got so cold here so early, I have lots and lots of time. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to stop this video. We will pick back up on another one here shortly before kids get out of school.